Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to connect the ASP32 to a wireless network. Uh, we will see the most basic approach where we will try to connect initially and then we will pull an object that will tell us the status of the connection. There are more sophisticated approaches, um, such as, for example, uh, using events, but we will cover the most basic one. Uh, on top of this, we'll be able to build more complex uh, programs on the ASP32, such as setting up uh, HTTP servers, socket servers, making HTTP requests, but we'll see that later. So, to get started, we need to include this Wi-Fi.h library. Basically, this library will make available an external variable, an object of class, Wi-Fi class, uh, that's actually the name, Wi-Fi class, uh, that will allow us to connect to a wireless network. In order to be able to, we need to uh, specify uh, these two credentials. Uh, basically, the first one is the SSID, which is a short for Service Set Identifier, which is a technical name for the network name. Uh, so, the, the other credential that we need is obviously the password, in case the network is uh, password protected, which is the most common case. I usually declare these as uh, Lolo variables, uh, so they are easier to, to change. Uh, moving on to the setup function, to the Arduino setup function, uh, the first thing we'll do is uh, opening a serial connection so we can output uh, the results of our program. Followed by that, we'll start a connection to the Wi-Fi network by calling this begin method of the Wi-Fi uh, extern variable, the, the object I've talked about, um, and this will initiate uh, the connection at the end. Um, as first uh, parameter, it uh, received the SSID or the network name, and as second, the password. Uh, this call will be uh, asynchronous, so it will return immediately. Uh, so we need to, to then, in this, in this simple implementation, in this simple approach, we'll then uh, need to pull the status of the connection until the, um, the SP is effectively connected to the Wi Fi network. How do we do that? Uh, we can call this status method of the Wi-Fi uh, of the Wi-Fi object, which will return the current status as an enumerated value. In our case, we want to check for this uh, WL connected uh, value, which uh, indicates that the connection is indeed established. Uh, so while um, the status is different from from this enumerated value, we'll keep looping uh, and asking again and again uh, when the connection is established. Note that this is a very simple approach, uh, pulling, the, the, um, pulling the status. Uh, we are not doing here any error handling after a, a determined amount of uh, attempts we could uh, print a message and stop trying. So I'm assuming everything will, will go alright, the, the SSID and the password is okay and we can effectively connect. So, uh, once the connection is established at this point uh, we'll just print a simple message indicated that we are already connected and to finish we'll obtain the local IP of the ASP32 uh, in the Wi-Fi network so as soon as the, the ASP connects it should uh, have a local IP assigned and this is the IP we can then use uh, to contact um, the ASP32 in case for instance if we deploy a HTTP server on it a uh, web socket server, uh, socket server or anything else so we call this local IP uh, method, which receives no arguments and will return the IP. So, uh, this is just what I want to show you, so the main loop can be left empty. I've already uh, uploaded the code to my ASP32 uh, with the credentials, the actual credentials of my network. So, as you can see here, I'm going to reset the device, so you can check all the, the procedure. So, it's resetting. Trying to connect, it takes a while, some iterations of the loop. Uh, we had a small delay between each iteration, so we are not constantly pulling the, the, the device. Uh, we wait like half a second. And then we get this message indicated that uh, the SP32 is indeed connected and the local IP that was assigned to it by my router. So this is it. This is a very simple approach, but uh, works very well as soon as the, the credentials are correct. And from here we can build a, a, a whole set of uh, functionalities uh, with SP32 connected to the, to the internet. Thank you very much for watching, hope you have enjoyed.